<laughs> I've decided to renovate the doghouse. Ah, the doghouse. I just come to work every day. I stand here and try not to look stupid. Mark's like, ah. My favorite room to renovate is Really have a favorite room. I like to renovate every room in the house. My favorite type of work to do in a reno is structural remediation. When I get into an older home and it's just about ready to collapse, there is nothing more fun than pulling it apart, identifying what the problems are, and coming up with a way uh, with our engineers and our architects to fix it and make it structurally sound. That's a lot of fun for me. The existing kitchen has a vaulted ceiling. The dining room is a flat ceiling and we've got plaster crown molding going on. We don't want to disturb that and end up ripping half of the ceiling down into the dining room. So underneath the beam, we're going to leave a bit of a bulkhead that will protect that plaster molding from one side and give us a flat wall on the other side. My favorite type of homeowner to work with is someone that will let me do the work. Someone that will, you know, appreciate that I've spent some time in the industry and have a certain amount of expertise and will hand over their cash, give me their keys, and let me take the reins. I'm kidding. I like homeowners that want to get involved and want to learn things and want to even try their hand a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. Yes. I wasn't designed for manual labor. Anything that requires more than three steps, I get frustrated. It's nice that Brian gave me some tools to use, but I'm not too confident using them. Too much power in your hand there. So I'll do it the old fashioned way, hand bomb it. He's got the basics, but he could use a little more practice, maybe read the instructions. That's why we leave it to Brian, not leave it to Travis. Why is there a cut in this one? Too many steps? It's okay. I could say I built my own kitchen. 